You know how Legos can be attached and then detached just like that? Well, that's what the PlayStation 4 game Knack is kind of based around. The ability to have parts attached to you and then have them detached from you. It's like what my buddy Anthony once said. It's Legos, but PlayStation. But if you were playing with Legos in real life and they ran under Knack's rule set, you could connect them and take them apart and they would either reconnect with ease or never reconnect again. This game has faced a lot of controversy, especially because of a certain donkey based around video games. I've beaten this game the whole way through, and I have a lot to say about it. I'm not holding back. I'm gonna go all out on this one. Let's begin. This is a game that I've wanted to talk about since last holiday season when I played it all the way through for the very first time. I got Knack for $9 on Black Friday, which I should have seen as a telltale sign that it was a bad game, but I somehow didn't. Oh, and the Black Friday sales actually didn't touch the game. It was $9 even before Black Friday hit. I was actually very eager to play the game because I remembered reading some Game Informer articles about this and how it was a platformer meant to test the power of the PS4. And it looked pretty fun from the gameplay I had seen. So I thought, wow, a cool game for a great price? This is gonna be awesome! What could go wrong? That could go wrong. This game took my expectations and threw them right in the garbage. Why's that? Well, maybe it was the boring and completely uninteresting story. Or it was the constant repetition. Or the entirely inconsistent difficulty spikes. Or maybe it was all of them. Let's find out. The plot of Knack is centered around... Do I even remember the plot? No, well, let me check a wiki or something. The plot can be, in simplest terms, summed up like this. In a world where humans power things with relics, a doctor finds a sentient creature made of relics that can be expanded with more relics. Then there's this war going on between humans and goblins, and Knack is their secret weapon kinda, and... I've lost interest. That's all you need to know. Just sprinkle in the conventions of common story structure and maybe a couple completely obvious plot twists, and you have the entire plot of Knack. Oh my god, this guy's the main villain? We totally didn't see that one coming. And oh crap, this guy dies in the end too? I don't care. Screw spoilers. Now you don't have to play the game. Now this could actually be an interesting plot if the characters weren't boring and if the plot twists weren't so obvious you could see them coming from light years away, but you can. And they are boring. Even what you do in the actual levels isn't that interesting. All you do is run around, punch and jump on stuff, and use one of your three powers. I mean, there are level-specific abilities, but they're not that interesting either. The only level-specific power I remember is the one that lets you walk through lasers, and I'm a little too intolerant to actually try to remember or even look up the others. Bottom line is, they weren't cool to say the least. With your main attacks and special moves, you have to fight off enemies throughout each level. Each level being in different settings and with different enemy types. I use the term different loosely though. Only their races and abilities change. It sounds cool, but it's not. There's four enemy races in the game. There's the goblins, the humans, the robots, and the relic guardian things. You'd think each race has different abilities according to what they are, right? Wrong. Each race has the same set of enemy classes, maybe with an added move or two. But there's still no apparent changes. Kinda reminds me of these two rocks in a way. Get it? There's guys with melee weapons, guys with guns or bows, guys with bombs, bigger guys with melee weapons, bigger guys with guns, guys with fancy melee weapons, and even bigger guys with melee weapons. That's about as far as the variety goes. This is about where the repetition comes in, because the only thing that really changes per level are the races of the enemies. All of the classes just get recycled throughout each level. It's like trying to buy a car, but everyone you find is the same model, but with different colors. And even the races are recycled eventually. This got boring real fast. There was one thing that made this game interesting. Not in a good way, though. The one thing that breaks Knack's repetition, for the worst, I might add, are random difficulty spikes. You'll be breezing through a level, killing everything with relative ease, and then you could get dumpstered by a super hard enemy that does half your health per hit. Even when you are giant Knack, this can happen. You'd think it'd be a titan just knocking down every threat in your path. Nope. That feeling will last for two seconds until a tank or a big guy with a hammer shows up. 
This problem is especially apparent with the lead-up to the final boss. You're supposed to be an all-powerful knack that can destroy anything, then the super huge guy shows up and just flattens you. Don't even get me started on the actual final boss. That thing is artificial difficulty at its finest. When you hit its second phase, it literally just summons some of the super huge guys again. Wow, I forgot how much I dislike this game. Oh, and going back to the beginning of the video, but if you were playing with Legos in real life, and they ran under Knack's rule set, you could connect them and take them apart, and they would either reconnect with ease, or never reconnect again. This is all true. Knack is supposed to gain relics to increase his size, and when he gets attacked, he loses some of the relics. I'm fine with that. It's consistent, and concise, and that's all good with me. However, at some points in the game, that's not how that works. In the actual levels, that's how it works, but in cutscenes, Knack has the ability to regain relics over and over and over again. I would be fine with this if that's how the game worked in the gameplay department as well. I mean, we'd have another problem on our hands because that would make Knack virtually invincible. But this? This is not acceptable. This just teases you and makes you want to be able to regain your relics at any time during the actual levels. But you can't, because that's not how the game works, silly. Then the cutscenes go and break the game mechanics, and okay, that's just fine and dandy, isn't it? I love it when the cutscenes and levels have different canon. When I first got this game and started playing it, I actually enjoyed it. But then all of this stuff came along and ruined the whole experience for me. By the end, I was happy it was over. This adventure, that could have been awesome, was brought down by its uninteresting story its subtle but prevalent repetition, its strange and fluctuating difficulty, and overall broken logic. There's really only one redeeming thing about this game, and that is the graphics. However, as Nintendo proved time and time again, gameplay is above graphics. I wanted to love Knack, and Knack rejected my love. Thank you for sticking through my rage, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like. And if you really enjoyed the video and you want to see more of my videos in the future, then feel free to subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates and other random stuff. You can watch my Gravity Rush Remastered review on the left, and you can watch my Breath of the Wild and Classic Zelda comparison video below it. Thanks again for sticking around, and I'll see you on the next one.